So for our first limit problem, we're going to look at the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. And again, the idea is we're putting in numbers close to 2, and we're trying to see what types of numbers we get out. Of course, you could always do this on a calculator. Plug in 1.9, 1.99, 1.999. Put each of those numbers into the formula and see if the numbers you're getting out are getting close to something. But again, these can kind of give you deceiving results because maybe if you plug in 1.999999, you get something much different. And in general, on a test or an exam, they're going to want to see you do something more algebraic anyway. So to get started, again, you always try to make it x equals and substitute it in and see what you get. So if I plug in x equals 2, notice I get 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 over 2 minus 2. I'm getting this form 0 over 0, which means, hey, we're going to have to be a little more creative and figure something else out. Well, this is where your factoring skills kick in, because notice that you can factor the numerator, the x squared minus 4. as x minus 2, x plus 2. Well, I have this x minus 2 on the bottom. I can cancel that out. And this is what you do with limits. You try to do something algebraic so that you can simplify them. And then you basically just repeat the plug and chug process. You try to plug the number back in again, and hopefully you'll get a solution. And in this case, if I plug in x equals 2, I'm no longer dividing by 0. I'll get 2 plus 2, or 4. And that's the answer to my limit. It says the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 is going to equal 4. And if you graph the function x squared minus 4 over x minus 2, it's going to look just like the graph of y equals x plus 2, which is a straight line except for it's going to be undefined at the value of 2 because that gives me 0 in the denominator. So I made a little graph here. Here is the graph of y equals x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Notice at 2 it's undefined. But again visually if you look at this graph it says if we take x coordinates closer and closer and closer to 2 from either side Notice that the y-coordinates are getting closer and closer to 4. So that's the way to read a limit off from a graph. Basically think, what's x getting close to? And then look at the graph and think, what y-coordinate am I getting close to? In this case, 4. Notice it doesn't even matter that it's undefined at 2. That's perfectly acceptable when we do limits.